Well, Michelle, here we are back again on YouTube for another live chat about one of our uh, videos. Yes, here we are. And um, I'm looking forward to today's chat and today's video release. Um, this is a, a piece that's near and dear to all of us at the WCC, especially, of course, you, <laughs> to you and to me. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to hearing um, a bit more about the piece, and I'm sure our uh, listeners are too. And welcome, hello to everyone listening. Um, thank you, those who are commenting already. Um, so hello to to Mike and um, to a couple of the other people who have said things on our chat and are listening today and watching. Um, so we are, are going to... Um, tell you a little bit about this. I think it's important that we know what we're going to listen to uh, and have the background to it because it really will uh, make the video more impactful um, when you're watching it and listening. So Roy, um, I wanted you to, uh, I'll, I'll pass it over so you can tell us more about this beautiful piece. Right, well, this goes back a few years ago um, when we were, again, always looking for a repertoire for the clarinet choir. And uh, you said, I think you and I came up with the idea we should do some Canadian folk songs. And so I then uh, put together five different songs, uh, um, some Canadian folk songs. And one of them was Marianne, which is the uh, video that we're going to be watching today. Um, in, the, in the folk song, Marianne, uh, the sailor laments his separation from his beloved Marianne. Here's the, here are the words for the first verse. Fare thee well, my own true love, fare thee well, my dear. For the ship is waiting, the wind blows high, and I am bound away for the sea, Marianne. And I am bound away for the sea, Marianne. So it's, it starts, it's a sailor saying goodbye to his beloved. Um, and the succeeding verses speak of separation and loss, but also of the love of his sweetheart, how he misses her. Um, my arrangement for this is a little different. It's, it's more from Marianne's perspective. The piece starts off with the upper clarinets overlapping with a C motif. And it's restless, it's dark. They're joined at intervals with the low clarinets expressing the depth of the sea. Soon the E flat clarinet enters above the brooding C motif with the opening of the song. Fare thee well. Those are the first few notes of the, of the tune. This is followed shortly by the solo bass clarinet finishing the first line of the song. My own true love. Now here's where it gets a little brighter. On the word love, the tonality of the piece moves from the minor to the major. A, a short section follows, slowing down slightly and, until the C motif disappears altogether. And the entire verse is played through by the full choir. This is sunshine, light, bright. The C motif at the end of this section returns in the major. Soon, however, we return to the opening theme. Upper clarinets playing the relentless C motif, the lower ones representing the depth of the C. The E flat again plays the opening of the folk song. Fare thee well. But the solo bass clarinet does not reply. We, the, we hear the continuation of the C motif. And finally, the E flat finishes the opening phrase my own true love and at this point the only thing that remains is the c the c motif going on so so it's a it's a very powerful i think um uh image uh and and it's from marianne's perspective as opposed to the sailor's perspective mm -hmm. um also um it's been an interesting uh, journey to record this, uh, especially during this time when we can't be all together. Um, 
personally, I mean, I think, you know, we did what we could, <laughs> um, but it's, it's a better experience in person, uh, in, in, in a performance for sure. Um, but we, I think we captured it really well. Uh, and I think it's, it's what you, what we, you <laughs> did, Roy, um, is fantastic with, um, well, you'll see when you see the video, but we've added some footage and, um, of the sea. Uh, but you know, when you are listening to it in person, um, and everyone's there playing together. It's it's a, it's truly an experience that pulls you in, and uh, you know you it you feel as though you're. It's an, an experience more than it's just a you know listening to a piece of music. Um, so you know hopefully we'll be able to perform it in person again before too long, um, and you can come and, and hear for yourself if you're in the GTA. Of course, um, you can come and hear it for yourself and experience it for yourself. Um, I know for me, as as I'm conducting it, I get drawn in, um, and it's uh, often hard for me to, you know, not tear up. Um, certainly, I tear up watching the video, um, and uh, but when you're when you're actually in it and conducting and listening, and you're right there, um, it really is very impactful. Um, so I hope we 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 can capture that a bit for you today, at least um, when you're listening. Um, and Roy, what was it like for you putting this together uh, in, you know, in this time trying to create, like, were you happy with what you created with your own concept while you did it? Uh, you, you mean the concept of the video uh, itself versus the music itself? Yes, I th yeah, okay. what we've done now versus what we do in person. Yeah, uh, well, as, as you know, I've been doing a lot, uh, putting together a lot of these videos uh, over this uh, past season, well, three or four. And it's been a learning experience, technically learning all of the little ins and outs and how to set everything up on the screen and all, all that sort of thing, as well as um, getting the audio. <laughs> like, as you know, Michelle, we're, I'm sending things back and forth between us, uh, saying, how, how's this? And then uh, we tweak that. and. And so there's been a lot of um, hours of just uh, dealing with the editing of the audio. And then of course, hours dealing with the video. Something that looks very simple on the screen sometimes takes a lot of planning. I, I find a, uh, uh, there's a lot of mathematics going on. Uh, uh, it's just plotting where everything goes on, on you know, like an X and Y axis. So it's a very, very, very interesting pro uh, project for me. But, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. Luckily, I came across some uh, film stock that I could use um, uh, uh, and um, with uh, permission. And uh, I think you're going to be very happy with, with this, uh, how this comes out. It, there's, it's, it's very, I think it's very moving. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with how I somehow managed to put things together. Never thought I was much of a visual person. I always went for the audio, but I seem to be learning more about, not, not that I'm a perfect video editor, but um, I'm, I'm pleased with what I've been managed, what I've managed to come up with on this project. I agree. I think it's, uh, we, we, you know, you did really, really well for what we have available to us at the moment without having the the real experience, the true in-person, in the same room experience. Um, we do have a question uh, for me about, um, is it strange listening to it and not being able to conduct? Um, yes, it's very strange, um, especially because we've played this a few times now, Roy, right? Maybe At least three two times. Two or three definitely. times. Um, and absolutely, it's strange. It feels... Uh, odd because I'm so used to being in the middle literally of this experience um, and having playing a part in it uh, uh, you know as I do with my guiding um, so yeah it's very strange uh, but it's also nice to be able to sit back and relax and just watch it all unfold um, so uh, we also, by the way, just to let our listeners know, our audience know, we, we did have, before we uh, planned to, or before we you know, had everyone record their parts, we did have a, um, a, a gathering on Zoom and we, 
you know, Roy was able to tell us cause sort of what we're talking to you about today um, and to make sure that, you know, everyone's on the same page as they do this. So everyone had, as they were recording, everyone had their sort of mental viewpoint in the in the right place um and which i think uh is i was very helpful uh in our end result uh with with just getting that you know trying to be as much into that in the inside the experience as possible um now one thing by the way i will say uh or suggest i'd like to suggest to everyone today please uh if you can grab some earphones some headphones to listen to this um we've done some clever things with uh panning uh so it means when you'll hear you know, some people, you'll hear some people coming out of your left ear and some people into your right, um, or into your, into your ear, not out of your ear. Um, that would be strange, but the, but the sound is coming in, um, from different places. Um, and we've, we've tried to recreate the way it would be if you were sitting in the audience, listening to us play, um, having certain instruments, certain players playing on this side of the room, certain players more in the middle, certain players more on the right. So it, it would be great if you could uh, ha grab some headphones and, and also just the, the whole audio uh, quality is, is, is definitely improved when you're, when you're using your phones to listen. Yeah, you're more immersed in the sound with, with, with headphones. And even, even if you have a quiet room, there's always distracting sounds all around. So, so yeah, you can really, you really feel like you're in, in the middle of the group when it's uh, playing in inside the group when you're listening to it on the headphones. Mm -hmm. And um, just a couple more hellos. Hello to Steve and Sue and Christina. Um, and thank you all for being here today and supporting us. Um, if anyone has any other questions, uh, now would be a good time to ask. Uh, we have got three minutes before we're going to launch the video. Um, and uh, if you have, as I say, if you have any other things to ask us, um, that would be great uh, to let us know now. And also um, another note, just a side note for next time, we've been doing video releases the last Sunday of every month during this season, season, um, this at home virtual season. And we have, uh, we are doing one more before the end of our season. Um, but this one will not be the last Sunday of May. This one will be on May the 16th. Is it Roy? Yes, uh, I think 16. it's the 16th. Um, so, uh, if you want to mark your calendars accordingly, um, it will be a week or two earlier than the last Sunday of May. Um, and um, Allison is saying thanks for pulling all this together. And thank you, Allison, for your participation. In it. Um, and uh, we're, uh, yeah, we're delighted to be able to, oh, there's a question coming in. Um, we're delighted to be able to um, try this out on in our virtual world. So Lisa's asking, how are we all staying motivated um, to be connected when none of us can make music together in person? Well, it's a good question, Lisa. We are um, struggling, but we are trying. Uh, we do meet once a month as a group, a big group with both of our choir. We have a we have two choirs. We have the WCC and the CCEW. Um, we have two separate groups, and we all meet together as a one big group uh, once a month. And we also are running some small ensembles. Uh, that we do virtually over through a platform called Jam Kazam. We rehearse uh, in trios and quartets um, weekly, and we have coachings uh, every week or two. Uh, so we have been doing a lot, actually, um, behind the scenes, as it were, <laughs> all over and above these uh, videos that we are releasing. Um, and it's been tough, but we've managed to to stay together. And uh, lots of people are still coming to all of our, our monthly meetings and uh, are, you know, smiling. And um, they're, everyone's being great. And we're, you know, we're trooping along. <laughs> um, but it's, it's tough. It's tough um, as, as it is for the whole world at the moment. Um, but and we're very much looking forward, of course, to getting back into a person uh, in person life soon, um, as soon as possible. Uh, so we're hoping by the fall, um, by September, we can we can be back in person, or at least that's what we're planning on. So fingers crossed. 
Um, and I see that it's four o'clock. So yeah. um, I will just remind you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, which is down below. I think it's on this side. Um, and uh, please, uh, you know, spread the word. Let everyone know um, next month's release. I, we will not say what it is, but it's going to be a fun one. And uh, to end the season on, a, on an uplifting note. And um, we hope to see you here again on the 16th of May. Also in person, of course, um, going forward after that. Um, and Joan Andrews, one of my favorite Newfoundland folk songs. Looking forward to hearing this arrangement. Thank you, Joan. Thank you for all your support as well. Um, so uh, here we go. I think we're we're ready to go, yeah, Roy. You can... Well, just just remember to get to the video. Mm -hmm. You have to um, go in the description below the um, this ch this uh, chat video you see the words uh, show more you just click on that and that opens up the description and there's a link there that you click on to get to the um the video of uh, marianne and i hope all of you enjoy it bye everybody see you in a few weeks see you later bye bye